With all that is asked of teachers today, to then integrate technology into the classroom sounds like an overwhelming task, but it doesn't have to be. Using technology in the area of language arts can be rewarding for both the teacher and the students. But what technology should you use? Technology can be something as simple as an overhead projector to show proper cursive writing techniques, to something as advanced as a computer network that shares spelling lists throughout the district. Let's take a look at three basic types of technology, hardware, software, and the Internet, and we'll explore how they can be used in an elementary classroom. Hardware can be something obvious like a desktop computer or an AlphaSmart that students can use for book reports or daily journaling. A DVD player can be used to play movies as rewards and reinforcement. For example, you could play a screening of Shiloh after reading it together as a class. But what about some hardware that is a little less apparent? There are many other places where some hardware can enhance the classroom experience. A CD player with the right disc can add a touch of creepiness for those spooky stories around Halloween. A video or audio recorder would be invaluable if students perform a class play. Even a copy machine can enable students to collage clippings from magazines and newspapers into wacky poetry. One item of technology that is often overlooked is the television set. With a VCR or DVD player, you can bring in exciting programs to help enrich the classroom experience. Schoolhouse Rock, although a little dated, is fresh to a classroom full of students that have never watched it. You should also consider using a digital camera in your classroom. Not only can digital cameras be used to capture moments throughout the year, which can later be shared with parents, but they can also be used to add visual elements to students' writing. Imagine how a few digital pictures can enhance students' autobiographies. We've discussed a few types of hardware that you use in the classroom. Take a moment and see if you can think of a few of your own. When you're finished, click Next to continue. Computer software is a necessity in today's classroom. Many textbooks have accompanying software that can enrich and expand upon what is being taught in the textbook. Perhaps after reviewing the framework for a fairy tale, students can use the available software to practice assembling a fairy tale of their own. And because it is made by the publishers of the textbook, you know it will fit perfectly with what you're teaching. There are other software packages available that can also augment the language arts studies in your classroom. Titles such as Reader Rabbit, Disney, and Jumpstart all have software available for practicing sentence structure and reviewing verb tenses. Finding effective software that strengthens reading and writing skills can be difficult. Listed are a couple of links to some software award winners. Software can be expensive but it doesn't have to be. On the weekends, drive around to garage sales looking for educational software. Even though the software you find is not the most recent version, it can still be a valuable teaching tool. Usually, if you mention you are a teacher, you can get a little extra discount. We've discussed a few types of software that you might use in your classroom. Take a moment and see if you can think of a few of your own. When you're finished, click Next to continue.
The Internet is also a valuable resource in any classroom. Depending on the age of your students, you may be reluctant to let them loose on the web. But sites like yahooligans.com and askjeeves.com are great ways for students to get their feet wet on the web when researching authors or particular word origins. Other websites are available that can supplement your curriculum. Sites like LiteracyCenter.net and CleverIsland.com offer a variety of language arts related interactions like upper and lower case letters, keyboard practice, reading practice, and shape recognition. The great things about these resources is that they are always available and that they are free. Who can really benefit from the Internet? You can. As a teacher, you can use the Internet to find additional resources for a unit on the pilgrims or to look at another teacher's ideas for teaching the parts of speech. You can even use the Internet to connect with teachers in other schools so that you can share ideas or set up a pen pal exchange between the students in your classrooms. We've discussed a number of Internet resources that you might employ in your classroom. Take a moment to review what you've learned. When you're finished, click Next to continue. The possibilities for adding technology to your classroom are limitless. Not only can its use make teaching easier, but it can make the learning more enjoyable for your students as well. Here are some real-life examples of how the concepts discussed in this lesson could be used in a classroom, either as a teaching tool or an administrative aid.